This little device is called an expand along. Now, the reason that we use this as part of neurocentric training is there is a lot of research uh, has been done over the last 15 years on respiratory muscle training. There are two versions, inspiratory and expiratory. We actually like to use a device that allows you to do both. What has been found is that just like every other muscle in the body, the respiratory musculature needs regular training. And if we train it appropriately, it increases not only lung capacity to some degree, but really improves endurance levels uh, because it helps deal with some of the reflexive effects whenever we are training really hard. So this device is very easy to use. Obviously, it's a mouthpiece. It has a valve that you can control the level of inhalation resistance and exhalation resistance. Now, the real challenge in uh, these devices is learning to use them appropriately. Most people, if I give it to them, they just take it, they turn the resistance way down, they put it in their mouth, and they just breathe through it, uh, and it gives them very little work. When this is done appropriately, you should be able to perform about 30 repetitions of a forceful inhale, and then a forceful exhale. At the end of 30 repetitions, you should be tired. It basically is designed to be done twice per day. There you go, and it should feel like work. So uh, again, this is called an expand along. We've been using this for years with really high success levels, particularly with endurance athletes. Uh, also working with people in the military, first responders, firemen, people that must wear vest or other heavy equipment uh, for work. This has also been found in multiple research studies to improve their ability to function uh, while wearing that kind of load. So fantastic tool. Um, just make sure that if you're going to use it, you learn the protocols uh, and really focus on two, two sets of 30 breaths uh, each day.